Okay, now welcome to English Language Arts. Here's your objective for today. I will be able to evaluate a paragraph from a text and write a summary of my evaluation. Now, evaluating is kind of like critiquing. You're seeing if the, um, for this paragraph specifically, you're going to be talking about how important it is, why the author included it, um, and other things that you would like to interpret from it. It's personal. Your answer is going to be different from somebody else's in the class. So whatever your answer is for this, um, just know that when you're reading it and understanding it, like I said, your answer is going to be unique for you, okay? So communities then and now, page 22, Sarah and the chickens. What happened so far in this story? And you're gonna write a little summary of what you know has happened so far in the story. Then you're gonna read paragraphs 23 through 49 to find out what life is like on the farm for Sarah. Annotate by underlining key details. And I think I mentioned this before yesterday, key details are different than key events, right? So we're not looking at the actions that the character is taking um, and new characters that are coming in or anything like that. This is more about the details of the story that important, it, it, things that you find important as you are reading this story. Here's your chart that you will be filling out. And this is where you're going to evaluate. You're going to reread paragraph 30 and visualize what the paragraph describes. What do you see in their minds? What sounds do you hear? Although this event is small, there is a lot happening in this paragraph that helps the reader understand life in a farming community. Write a short paragraph explaining why the paragraph is important. Now, if you decide to go the other way and say, this paragraph I find not important, um, then you need to tell me why and what about the things that you see and the things that you hear are not necessary when reading this text. Um, I'm allowing you to go either way with it. Um, so really that is going to be up to you and your evaluation of that paragraph. Okay, so I looked at your guys's um, cities that you picked, Ella Grace and Yanelli, you guys actually both picked Los Angeles. So for the rest of these writing assignments, you guys could, if you wanted to, work together. For instance, if you're having a hard time finding information about the the city then um you could always ask uh your partner um also in the text um all kinds of communities they did talk about what los angeles is like as well and that is a text that you can use as a resource if you'd like um so body paragraph one what history does the city or community have so what is the community known for? For instance, why would somebody want to go there? When was the community established? When did Los Angeles, for instance, become a city? Okay. What historical events have occurred? Okay. So um, but have there been, um, let's see, mm like earthquakes, uh, tsunamis, um, what other historical events there might be, invasions. Um, let's just say that our history is very uh, long. So finding historical events is fairly easy. It's just choosing which one you actually want to write about. So you will answer these questions and then write them in full sentences. And the reason why you're writing them in full sentences here is because this is your paragraph, okay? You could write it in paragraph format and that's fine. Um, and so that way, just like when you guys were doing your narratives um, 
earlier with virtual learning, we could just copy and paste the information from here to your essay, and that way you don't have to rewrite anything. So try to respond to these questions in, um, in full sentences. And I actually forgot to provide you guys with the resource slide, but I will uh, provide that for you as well. Okay, so STEAM. I'm gonna pause right here for a moment and then I will see you in just a second. All right, sorry about that. So um, what I had to do was grab some scissors. So um, first thing, let's talk about this plant. Um, I know if you were a student of the month, you had to water this plant. <laughs> for me. Um, so I brought it home um, from our classroom um, when we found out that we weren't coming back. Uh, so I've been taking care of it. Now, this is called a Monstera. Um, it's got a longer Latin name, but I didn't want to go over all of it. Um, and the cool thing about this plant is that it's actually a tree climbing plant. So it grows at the base of a tree and then its vines latch on to the tree and continue to grow upwards. It's, it's part of like the rainforest community. So it likes moisture and it likes to grow. It, it grows shady in, in shady conditions, but it likes to grow up towards the sun. Okay. So, what we're going to do is a, a fun term called propagate. Now, when this plant is in nature, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have this piece. It's attached, but it's kind of just laying here. And it's because it doesn't have anything to clasp onto um, to let it grow up the way that it wants to. So the weight of the leaves just have it fall down. So what we do, because this is, I'm treating it, it's not growing outside in nature, it's growing inside uh, for us to enjoy. What we do when the plants start falling like this, you, you have two options. You can tie it to a stick and prop it up, or we can trim it and watch the roots grow. So this plant actually is is part of a bigger plant. I trimmed up my really big monstera and planted this and then now this one has gotten really big. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how. Um, we're gonna trim it and we're gonna watch the roots grow. So when I'm gonna um, cut off this piece because it's falling, right, I'm gonna try and cut down here, I'm gonna show you why. So right here, if you can see it, right there, is a start of a vine. That start of a vine is actually really important because that's where the roots are gonna grow out of. And then also here, is another start of a vine. Not sure how well, yep, there it is. So that's another start of a vine and that will also grow roots from it. So after this plant grows lots and lots of roots, um, then it'll be ready to plant into its own pot and that way we can have more plants. So I have my container, okay? And I just put regular water in it and now that I've trimmed this, I could just place this in here. And I chose a clear container and I'm making sure that all the, the parts that are starting to be roots already, um, I make sure that those are underwater so that way they will grow um, into roots instead of vines. Now, it's kind of hard to choose what other ones need to come off I think it should be this one because I see a start of a vine. Here's another one. And here's the start of the vine. So then this one could go in as well. 
I might even take some of the, um, I still have my big plant um, in another room. And so I could actually take pieces from that one and put it all in this as well. And we could have quite a, a big plant for us to be watching grow. So we have about um, eight more weeks left of school. And so I think every Tuesday, maybe every Thursday, maybe both, it kind of, it depends on, um, it depends on how fast the roots are growing. Um, if the roots are growing really fast, then I might check in with this plant twice a week. If this, if the roots are growing really slow, then we might just check in with this plant, um, once a week. So, but this is, that we call it propagation because we're taking um, this and we are making more of the same plant. Um, and so it's gonna need the same kind of soil, the same kind of lighting conditions. Um, it's all very much the same. There's a big one here that I might take off because it's a, but it's a brand new growth. So I don't know if that would be a good idea, but it's nice and big, so I don't know. I'll think about it. So, anywho, um, and so if we were in class together, we would be experimenting with this and watching it grow uh, throughout the rest of the school year. But so hopefully, digitally um, checking on it, we could watch it grow from a distance. Um, so, anyways, since it is Tuesday, you could go ahead and uh, check in with Miss Eigel's Google Classroom. Um, for directions for your STEAM assignments for this week. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed our little science experiment about propagation. Um, and I look forward to checking in with the roots and making sure that they're growing well uh, throughout the rest of the school year. I will see you guys later.